So we're going to add now a really important things, a really important thing, which is the menu, because uh, when we run our code, we are just into it without knowing what we have to do. Okay, here there is some kind of description, but any normal game has a menu where there is something written like start, the title of, of the game, and maybe something else, some option, screen size, uh, enable or disable sound, we are going to do the most basic menu ever with just the title and just something some command to start the game so let's see so we go into the game loop and before we sh uh, show anything we add this one while menu and then let's put a background for the menu by game dot draw dot oh no screen dot fill white and for the moment let's just leave a white screen and then what else by game by game dot display dot update and here outside of the loop we add menu equals true so let's see and here we have our white screen so what happens when the game loop starts, so this one, it enters also the menu loop and and our game is stopped here. Nothing of, of this code is being ex execu <laughs> executed. Um, we need to execute this code we need somehow to stop this menu so it will be while menu uh, is false so if menu is false it's going to stop because this while menu it is the same like while menu is true it's exactly the same so we don't need to write and let's add something else like clock dot tick all the basic things like we did in our game loop clock dot tick um, and then the handle for the command like mouse and keyboard so i'm going to copy this code for event in pa game dot event dot get um, and mouse button so copy and let's put it here on, on the menu loop and we don't need to use any key down from the keyboard so we don't need to get the mouse position but I want to use the left button of the mouse so i will say if if event dot button equals one and in this case we say menu equals false so we're stopping the menu and entering inside the game loop so let's see i click and we're inside the game so let's add the title um, first I want to make a bigger font so let's add title font equals by game dot font dot sys font and I copy the same one that we have above comic sans ms 
and then let's make it 45 and we can add it here menu title equals my um, title font dot render and then welcome to spot the different <laughs> I cannot type to the differences um, to and black so menu loop and just after the background we say screen dot blade then uh, what was menu title and the uh, position I'm going to try 100 pixel from the left and 50 let's see how it looks I can make it a little bit more center and of course uh, you you could improve this code uh, to make it in a way that it can be automatically centered but uh, I want to keep everything the most simple and basic as possible uh, the way that you can learn and practice better and it's almost at the center let's add something somewhere pixel one at night and it should be fine and then let's add like start start text um, to say to the user what he has to do to start the game so my font I'm going to use my font because it's smaller than title font my font dot render and then click just click anywhere no anywhere click anywhere on the screen to start the game and then to and black so menu and screen dot blade start text one hundred and one hundred and fifty because I have want to make it um, lower of I don't know what to say just you will see or click anywhere on the screen to start the game and even this one let's say one sixty and two hundred. It looks ugly, but you can understand. Let's improve it a little bit more. This one 50. We can yeah, make the title blue. And let's, uh, which is the same blue we are using here. But this blue is is really ugly let's make it a little bit darker so instead of 255 let's say 185 oh it looks like before almost 120 okay now uh, I like it more and so For the menu, it's all we can add some function. Um, like, if you are on the game, a uh, we you want to pause the game, that you will go back to the menu. I'm going to show you how to do that.
quickly uh, but you should add something else in the description like press something to pause and we are not going to do that but I'm going to show what's the option and it will be for example if if event ah, dot key I think equals um by game dot okay let's say pete pause and let's say menu equals true so we are in the menu so I click we get into the game then I press the letter P and we get back to the menu yeah, as easy as that click anywhere on the screen to start the game oh, let's do this actually we can leave it pause text pause text click P to post the game uh, and then we want to add the same handle event in the menu so that if you press P in the menu no let's leave it this way <laughs> Event mouse button. I'm trying to figure out uh, where to draw the text. Okay. Then screen dot bleed. Then pause text. One sixty two third. Click B to post the game. One, two, twenty, to sixty. Um, yeah, it's okay. And so now I want to pause the game, and everything stops. And we can see that even the countdown stop. Here we are still printing the countdown and. If we let's check this one, I click, it's going, I pause, and okay, with this record from before 78 is the last. And this is all for this video, and see you in the next video.